people that expect tomorrow. They expect a three hour plus show from Guns N' Roses. Uh, an hour show from your lovely, lovely band ZZ Top, which we're honored to have with us on the bill for the last two shows. And uh, they play it all. What's been the response so far with both, let's say ZZ Top opening for them and then Guns N' Roses when they come out? ZZ Top opening first time tomorrow. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm excited because I'm a fan. Anything else? That's it? Perfect. Sales? <laughs> Sales? We're pretty much pretty close to sold out. We opened up some tickets this morning at all three rice levels, so all the tickets are available at Ticketmaster. And uh, we'll see how we do tomorrow. We might open up a few more on the sides, but there are good seats available at all price levels. Can you also talk about the local uh, economic impact, you know, advanced to tell? Well, the, easy, hire to, local, easy uh, to tell. I mean, right now, today, we hired 150 local stagehands to help us. We did it six hours, which is fabulous. We'll get another 150 more to help us load us out. Uh, then over the last three days, we built the stage behind you, which comes in 15 trucks. Um, that was about a total of uh, 50 locals plus forklift security, catering, all that. So add it all up with security, ushers, and everything else, about 500 local people are hired over the week. How big is, are the video screens and the staging and all that kind of stuff? How big? Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> They're big. <laughs> There's three of them in total. All the content was designed by the band back in January. It's the same show that started last year. And uh, they have were heavily involved in both the video content, the lighting, and the set design. I know there's like several different fan experiences available like down in the band. So yeah, I'm sure our last one is sold out, but like we talked a little bit about the front row front pit and stuff like that. The front row is, is definitely a, a VIP fan experience. Uh, they're up close, close to the stage. And you know, even on the floor, the seats are great. He does, he spends a lot of time, he being Axel, on the thrust. He's all over the place. So he, he covers it all. We, I, haven't, I haven't seen that in maybe 20 years or so. Yeah. What's the difference? We're all older. <laughs> um, really, I, I wasn't involved with the band back in, in Muse Illusion, but from what I heard, what I understand, it's all about the music now. Back then was obviously a different era, a different time. The whole show has been epis on the music and the catalog, and that's how the show and everything was designed for. They wanted to showcase the catalog, and that's what they do. Anything else we missed you'd like to add? Well, I mean, the show itself comes in 15 trucks. We have one show that's been traveling. We have three stages. Each stage is 15 trucks, so a total of 45 trucks. We've got 100 people on the road. Um, we're all a little tired. And uh, like I said, this is the second to last show, and the last show in San Antonio in a couple of days, and uh, then we go to South America. How, you know, how did um, El Paso be You know, I don't know that, but um, I know they did a lot of touring last summer in the U.S. I wasn't with them, but when they came back, there were so many shows they wanted to cover in so many places, and obviously Texas was not one of the places they covered last year, so El Paso and San Antonio were added to the bill. And it's a beautiful stadium. I mean, we've had such an easy access today. The, the venue's been very accommodating. It's been actually a very, very textbook day on, on loading in a stadium show. Is the band already here? Huh? Is the band already here? No. There are, Axel, I believe, is here already. Everybody else drives in tomorrow. What's the? Should I have your name, first and last name, and spell it in your title? No problem. First name is Rollin. Last name is Chamberlain. C H A M B E R L A I N. And I'm the production manager for Live Nation Tour. How long What's it will cost be the to performance tomorrow? Three plus hours from wow. Guns N' Roses and about an hour in ZZ Top. Do they, do they show up on time? They have been textbook on time. So I know probably some back, back history from years. They are on on time basically because they want to play that full time. Because every venue and every city has a curfew law, they're well aware of the curfew and we back it up from there. <laughs> What's your day to day operating cost? A lot. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, I mean, between the crew, the buses, the trucks, the, the local hotel. crew, catering, it, you know, hotels, flights, it adds up very, very quickly. Huh? You have to ask him. I don't know. Navy soldier in Germany. Huh? Navy soldier in Germany. I have no idea. That's two really good questions. Uh, I know about the production. I don't know that much about the band. Sorry, <laughs> officer. <laughs> Aside from all the classic songs like November Rain, yep. and, um, can we expect to hear any new music that they may be working on? They rehearsed a couple songs in Edmonton a couple days ago. They played them the other night in the Gorge. I'm not going to tell you what they were, but uh, there is two or three songs they've been mixing in that are new, new to the set.
can you tell us maybe a little bit if uh, what we can expect, maybe one song or two songs? That well, no, because if they don't play, then you're going to be disappointed. But they, 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 there are songs they mix, they throw in and out. Um, so we'll have to wait and see if they actually play the, the, uh, the songs they were practicing the other day. Can fans bring uh, signs to hold up? No signs. No signs? We do not allow signs to hold up, and that is if you hold up a sign, the person behind you can't see. So they don't allow signs, they don't allow banners, laser pointers, all that kind of fun stuff. What's the best time that they should come and line up outside? Doors are at 5.30. It's easy top starts, sharp at 7 o'clock. They'll be on stage, 8.30. There's fireworks, there's pyro, there's flames. It's the whole the whole thing. What's the cost of the I don't know. A lot. I mean, it, it's a multi-million dollar production. By the time you add in the cost of the Red Bull, all the production of the trucks, I mean, it's a multi-million dollar effort divided worldwide. All good? Thank you very much for coming, guys. You're, you're more than welcome to walk around, take some B-roll, whatever you guys need. We are going to turn the audio on just to let you know. Okay, thank you very, very much for your time. How are you? Good to see you. Is Glenn giving you a hug? Yes.